I'm Michelle Kreisel, Artistic Director of Ashlon Opera. So Mozart and Da Ponte wrote this opera the year before he died. And this was the first time the two of them collaborated on a completely personal story. And I say personal because in this opera there's some sister swapping, fiancé swapping, and in Mozart's life that's what he did. He fell in love with one young lady in the boarding house in which he was living, but yet he married the other and then had to spend the rest of his life with his first love nearby. This is a brilliant score. It's not an easy one to sing or play. Lots of excitement, fun, fast notes, but it's also one of the most profound of the Mozart operas. It's a mistake to just refer to it as a comedy. On the surface, it's a comedy because it's so much fun, but underneath are very deep feelings and with a very interesting conclusion, and I'm not gonna tell you how our stage director interprets it because we hope you'll come see it, We put together a fantastic cast. Um, let's start with the Despina, the servant. And Mozart always lavished the greatest care on the servant because that's where his heart was. He was considered a servant. So Despina controls all the strings. You need the most masterful actress to keep the opera going. The Canadian-American soprano, Mihai Aslan, who had a smashing debut at the Met a year ago. And I knew she would bring a level of artist and theatricality to this part to make the opera believable. Our Dora Bella is from Mexico, Cassandra Zoe Velasco, only 26, which is very young, to have already sung several seasons at the Met. She sings the mezzo part of Dorabella. Mozart is often thought of as being written for lighter voices, but I like to cast them with flesh and blood sound because that's the characters they're playing, and that's what Cassandra has in spades. Matching her is soprano Melinda Whittington as Fiordaligi, one of the trickiest roles ever written because Mozart threw in lots of low notes and lots of high notes, which Melinda negotiates fabulously and gives them a dramatic weight. The tenor aria happens to have 13 B flats. 13 B flats is amazing. Joshua Dennis negotiates this like it's easy and brings the sweetest sound. Since Cozy isn't performed that often, I hope that Charlottesville audiences don't walk but run to see this production with first-class voices from the Metropolitan Opera and other major houses, a very sensitive direction by Andrea Dorf McRae, an opportunity to hear Steve Jarvie's incredible conducting of our fabulous orchestra, and a chance for us to spend a few hours in the company of perhaps the greatest composer and librettist team that ever existed, Mozart and Da Ponte. <laughs>